Why? Dwayne! Dwayne Hightower, when I speak to you, can you please respond? What is it, Luann? Okay, Dwayne, there is something hanky going on out here. I really need your help, Dwayne. <sighs> All right. I'm coming. What? Whoa! Why? Okay, okay. You know that old Frigidaire you have out on the porch, right? There is something crazy going on. I need you to look. I'm freaking out. <sighs> All right. Take a look. Just stop shouting it. Huh. What the hell is that? You see that, right? You see the funky looking shadow? Dwayne? What does that look like to you? Well, uh, it's got long hair, beard, general holy atmosphere. I'm thinking of Willie Nelson. Jesus, Twain, you are the stupidest man I've ever met. What? It looked like Willie Nelson, don't it? What am I supposed to be seeing, Luann? For Pete's sake, Twain, that is Jesus! We live in a civilization that very much likes to believe in things. But sometimes people like to take said belief and they like to stretch it way up to here. Take, for example, the story of Reverend Oral Roberts, who was once recorded as saying that he saw a 400 foot tall Jesus outside of Oklahoma before going on to found his own university and name it after himself. Or a woman's graphic description of the face of the Virgin Mary as it appeared on her grilled cheese, which she then sold on eBay for $28,000. When it comes to religious hoaxes, truth is often stranger than fiction, but not in this case, as we follow two hicks who see the shadow of a very particular religious figure on their refrigerator. Their next step is obvious, turn it into a tourist attraction. Join Luann and Dwayne on their spiritual journey of lies in Messiah on the Frigidaire by John Culbertson. Dwayne, I don't want to freak you out or nothing, right? But I'm thinking, what if this is a sign from God? <laughs> Luann, this ain't no sign from God. It's just some funky looking Jesus shadow. You know what? I don't even need your help. I'm sorry I called you out here. Go back in the house, grab another beer, watch your TV. I'll, uh, I'll call the pastor. Yeah, he can deal with this. All right. I ain't got time to look at no Willie Nelson looking. Huh. Luan, look at this headline. Thousands flock to see mysterious cross in Nebraska bathroom? Dwayne, this has nothing to do with us. Do I have to paint you a picture? This is a measly cross, and thousands of people are lining up to see it. We have the face of Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, Luann, we're sitting on a major tourist attraction here. Okay, Dwayne, slow down. Oh, I've got so many ideas. I'm, I'm going to take snowballs, and I'm going to grind them up, and I'm going to sprinkle them like manna over the face of Jesus. But on a refrigerator. Dwayne, it is 78 degrees. I can see the trucks coming across the fields now. We're going to be rich, Luann. Stinking, filthy, rich. Dwayne! Don't stick your camel in the eye with the needle just yet. This is a shadow. We can't exploit this for our own personal gain. Look at me, Luann. This might be my last chance. To, to be somebody, you know? Without, without anyone taking it away from me. Let me do this thing, please. I am going to regret this. What are you going to do? Don't worry. I'll keep it small scale. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Dwayne. All of these gigantic trucks do not seem very small scale to me. Not to worry, Luan, not to worry. This is just 
the wine of God. The wine of God. Dwayne, this is great juice. Look, it's got a lot more kids in the cramp they serve at your church. Calm down, Luann. It'll be fine. People believe what I want them to believe. <laughs> Just look what I got them to put in today's paper. Woman gives birth to litter of puppies? No, not that one. Eh, at the bottom. Oh. Let's see. Millions flock to see mysterious Jesus shadow. Religious leaders hail miracle. Lady says that Jesus' shadow predicted her sister's death? Dwayne, none of this happened! What did you do? <laughs> Look alive, Luann. Oh! I think we're gonna need a lot more grape juice. Oh, you've got that right. Hallelujah! Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Pastor Hodges, I didn't see you there. What brings you to our lovely little home? Well, Mrs. Hightower, I just came from a meeting with the town merchants, and uh, we're very happy that your little uh, attraction is doing so well, but uh, we couldn't help but notice the incoming tourists are a little uh, unsatisfied. So uh, I propose that you could, um... <coughs> You could uh, give them the Lord's word, as it were. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Public speaking, you got this, Luann. You got this. All right. Ha! Oh my God. Uh, hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Uh, hi. My name is Luann, and uh, I have a message for you here. I have been told to deliver a message from the Messiah on the fridge of death. Mm -hmm. And he would like me to tell each and every one of you, all of you, to, to go out into the town and buy as many things as you can. Because uh, in, in scripture, scripture, it says that man cannot live by bread alone, but it helps sometimes. Pastor, what the? Hallelujah! Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We're not having any more people on the porch today. I understand that, ma'am. But, uh, I need your help with something. You see, it's, uh, my boy. He is, uh, he is blind, as you can see. And, um, I was thinking, right? I was thinking that maybe if my sonny took his hand and he put it onto your refrigerator, I'm thinking he might be healed. Well, it's not the craziest thing I've heard all day. Look, kid, um, I'm not going to stop you if you want to take a gander. Thank you, ma'am. Dear God, I know that I'm a horrible sinner, but please heal me. Let me see. Oh, oh um, I still can't see, Papa. Really? You know what I'm starting to think, Ronnie? I'm starting to think that you just want to be blind. Sorry, ma'am. You obviously do not believe in the healing power of Jesus. And you know what happens to bad little boys who don't believe in Jesus? They do not get ice cream. Oh my God. Well, dear God, why do you allow all these people to do such horrible things in your name? Well, you know what? I'm not going to be a part of this charade anymore. I am through with this. All of you can get the hell off my property. Get out. Hallelujah. Well, uh. Damn. You really did a number on these hedges, huh, Luann? I'm sorry, Dwayne. I just, I just couldn't deal with all this nonsense anymore. I just wanted things to go back to the way that they used to be. I mean, fine by me. I'm just a little bummed that I'm going to have to drink grape juice with every meal for the next couple of years. I think you'll be fine, Dwayne. Well, yeah, but I... Uh-oh. Dwayne, the, the shadow changed. It's, oh, my God. Okay, okay. Who is that now? Well, it's got sideburns, 
A lot of poofy stuff up here. I have no idea. Oh, my sweet Mother Hubbard, Dwayne. That is Elvis.